is Joel, CES 2023 at the Snapmaker booth, and I'm here with my friend Josh. Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing Josh. great, man. Happy CES. This is really exciting. This is the new one, the Snapmaker Artisan. Now, I had the three in one. The Artisan not, doesn't just look different. I think it's got some upgraded features, right? Okay, yeah, it's upgraded okay. everywhere. Every single module. Every single module. Yep. All right, take All right, me through yeah. it. Okay, so we have a 3D printer. We have the CNC uh, carver and the laser engraver. I love that you said 3D printer first. 3D printer, 3D printer. CNC engraver, exactly. laser engraver. So it can cut and uh, then the laser uh, can engrave, but uh, so for the cutting, it will be uh, mostly for wood up to 10 millimeters. Okay. And it can also cut through leather. And for, oh. uh, yeah, it can cut through leather. It's been used a lot in the fashion industry, like leather bags when they're engraving. And uh, it can also engrave aluminum and uh, stainless steel. And stainless. And stainless steel. For the CNC, 200 watts, 200 the spindle watts. is a 200 watt yep, spindle. Yeah, exactly. Okay. The last one was 50, it's been approved by 150. That's 4X. So now we can uh, even engrave jade, we can do all kinds of rocks. Uh, jade, rock, yeah, you jade. can engrave yep. rocks with so the If you actually go on our website, you'll be able to see the jade, it looks amazing. This is upgrade 4X, so not just jade and rocks, are we talking? Um, wood, all kinds of wood. All kinds of woods, but yeah. metals? Can we do metals so now? metals, I've heard of people who do it. I uh, can't say officially. Be but still though, see. that's a really great upgrade yeah, on the yeah, CNC yeah, module yeah, yeah. because a lot of people don't realize having a, a powerful CNC really lets you just, not just do more, but do better. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's really cool. And this is the CNC so, uh, so waste is, board, right? Yeah, so we've got some samples here. For example, we've got this box, so you can actually see we've done both. We've done laser engraving May I? and CNCing. Yes, of course. Look at that. So when you put both together, you've got more depth. Oh yeah, creating that, yeah, that creating like a 3D, that's yeah. so nice, that's so nice. Oh, so this was out of a single piece of wood, you see and see all the exactly. parts, bring them together and then put it thing. together, yeah, and then exactly, you've got this. Yeah. This is a great little gift box yeah, or really something, or a memory box. Definitely, yeah. And we've also got uh, the module, the see, uh, watery module, so you can do four axis CNC's on uh, cylinders, and you can also engrave on, with the laser on four axis. Yeah, <laughs> that's really good. <laughs> That's amazing. We're at the 3D printing part of it. Okay, now take me through this because it's set up for 3D printing right yep, now, right? Exactly, yeah. So uh, here we have the two filament holders, which will be on the enclosure when it's fully built. Uh, it's so a really big enclosure. It is a big one, yeah. <laughs> it has these um, main advantages that we'll see later on. Uh, so the 3D printer so it goes up to 300 degrees. We've got a heat bed of 80 degrees. Now 80, typically people with, with a heat bed, you hear like 100 or 110. So it can go to 110 in the, in the center and 80 on the outside, sorry. Oh, is it two zone? Yeah, two zones, yeah, sorry. Oh, yeah. Okay, 110 okay. in the middle and 80 degrees outside. It has two sides to the glass bed. So you've got glass underneath. Like on top. It's PI on top, is that right? Yeah, PI, exactly, okay. yes. I love having both options and being able to switch Definitely, between yeah. them without having to like take apart Even massive the extruders, amounts. you can take out and you can uh, change ah. them. So if you want a different size filament. Can, can, we, can I take that out? Yes, of course. So one thing we will see is that changing the tool head to oh, the that's CNC easy. It is so easy. That's so easy. 20 seconds. OK, so we've got this. You see in that right there? And then is it just lift out? Yeah, you can, you can try it yourself. Maybe no, no uh, just underneath. Here. Just right here? Yep. There you go. Just like that? Just like that. Oh, OK, yeah, I'm glad I wasn't grabbing that then. Oh, and then this would pop down to show you the gears and to be able to clear anything if there's any debris exactly, or whatnot. Yeah, exactly. This so, is nice. So this is dual. Yeah, that's dual, yeah. And it looks like there are different heights. So is different it a, is it so a lift? So one goes in while that one's printing. So uh, it doesn't uh, scratch or it doesn't take the fin off the bed. That's cool. And what are the dimensions that it can build in? What's the X, Y, and Z? So it's 400, 400, 400. 400 cubed? Yeah, yeah it's good. Wow. And, and what's really great is that 400 cubed is in an enclosure. Is in an enclosure. So you can do PET gene ABS yes, without a worry. Exactly, yeah. Because you're enclosed. In the heat, yeah. Oh, here, let's put this back in. Oh. As so you see, it takes about 20 seconds to change the tool head. And uh, same thing for the platform. We have a switch here that you can open up and we can swap the platform. So we have a wooden platform for the CNC and we have an aluminium platform for the laser engraver. Oh, so for you to go CNC to 3D printing to lasering, yep. it's really easy. We, about 40 seconds. So in 40 seconds, you have a new machine. Now, if I have everything in an enclosure, yeah. is any of that more difficult to do? No, definitely not, no, no. Because I remember the original three-in-one had that side door that opened up in the front yeah. and gave you all that area. Is yeah. it similar yeah. here? No, so we don't have a side door. We have the front door. So when you open the front door, uh, for safety reasons, the laser shuts off too. I wanted to mention. Oh, of course, okay, yeah, of course. good, good. And we have the anti-UV uh, panels 
that when the laser is functioning, you can actually look at it and it won't damage your eyes. Okay. And yeah, so for the platform, as you can see, it's at the front, so it's quite easy to quickly switch. Oh, that's easy. And the same thing okay. for, uh, for the tool system. You can literally just reach in and quickly swap, swap in. This is really cool. I, yeah. I love the look of it. I love how upgraded it is yeah. compared to the original three in one. It looks good in the enclosure too. Everything's lit up with LED lights. When it's lit up, it looks really, really good. Well, I remember the original three in one, when the lights were on, like I had a security yeah. camera at the studio and I could see into it. Definitely, and it yeah, looked really yeah. nice. Exactly, this yeah. though, I love this because it used to be you had a tiny little tablet on the front, yeah. essentially, that, that you do the controls it looks from. That's what people used to drop, so we listened into that. <laughs> but this though, this yeah, is a heavy. this is a great way to do it. Yeah. What was talk me through this? It's got Wi-Fi, so you'll be able to send your wi uh, your files in. Uh, through is, Wi-Fi and is it still Luban? Luban that does so it's it. It's still Luban, yes. Okay. So same software for the all three modules. Uh, we often update the software too. For example, on this one, we'll be getting a software update to uh, for the printing speed to, uh, to bring it up a bit more. Ooh, uh, thanks to really? the vibrations. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, I'm going to tell you. Like the 3D printing on this was always, it, it was it was a great experience in the, um, in the parts that it made. They always look good, yep. but it was a little slow. Yeah. Was well, a little yeah. slow by default, so you're speeding that up. So we're speeding it up, yes. All right. right. At the moment, it's 118 millimeters per second. And uh, so, for, yeah, for more of the, the update should be coming around this month. This isn't the only machine you're showing. Can yeah. we go take a look at the yeah, J1? Definitely. Yes. Let's do yes. it. So, Josh, yeah. that was the Artisan. Yeah. This is the J1. Yeah. Now, tell me one, about yeah. this, because I love the look of it. So, this is our new IDEX printer. Uh, so, it goes up to really high speeds. So, it's for, it can go up to 350 millimeters per second. Really? Yeah, yeah. So we've got different modes, like copy modes you can see here, uh, duplication mode. Uh, we have the uh, symmetrical mode, the mirror mode. Oh, the, the, the standard modes the that standard a lot of the IDEX, IDEX system has. Exactly, okay. yes. So if you wanted to print a pair of something, but the left and right of it, you could do it with just Definitely. one of the models. But with really high speed. So these batteries, uh, I think they're taking around, uh, they take about 15 to 20 minutes uh, to print both of them at the moment. Because right now with the, the speeds that are going around the different machines that you yeah. know, people are trying to crank them up to, uh, a Benchy sub 20 minutes is, is now kind of like a new benchmark for speed, yeah. right? Okay. Because uh, the Bamboo Lab has a 17 minute Benchy, the, uh, the Project R3D 1.5 uh, Daedalus has like a 16 and a half minute, yeah. Morons are, you know, four minutes, three minutes, whatever. So. You're well within that range of yeah, being well a, a high-speed machine. And of course, you're getting two. Uh, and you speed. get two. And you're getting two, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> two for one. And uh, this is printing at the moment, uh, I think, at 250 millimeters per second. OK. So they can go up to 350, so we can get them out quicker. So Josh, let's talk about the build volume here, X, yep. Y, and Z. What is it? So it's 300 times 200 times 200. Oh, OK. So it's a rectangular bed. Exactly, yeah. Got it. This uh, looks like a. It's all made of aluminum, uh, and it's one piece uh, cast uh, steel. Oh, so, so it's sturdy. Also, yeah, it's very sturdy. Really nice very and sturdy. sturdy. You need to. When you've got high speeds, like 350 millimeters per second, you need a sturdy machine for the vibrations. Yeah, that makes sense. It looks very good for educational, exactly. schools, engineering places, some, something that just wants a tool they can sit somewhere and use it. Exactly, yeah. So it will be a very good price range that we're still determining right now, but I'd say it will be around $1,300. Uh, so for an IDEX printer, all made out of aluminum, that's we're looking at the best price on the market. Uh, we also, uh, for like you said, in the schools, you can, uh, they don't take too much space, they do print fast, and you get two models, so you can make sure that every kid has a print uh, if there's like an hour class or something. I love that, every kid gets their print. Exactly, exactly. Which is quite hard to do at the moment with uh, other printers at time. Well, this is great information, Josh, but people are going to want to know more about it, so there's the camera right there. Look yep. at the camera and tell people where they can go to learn more about Snapmaker. So you've got our website, so you can go on our Snapmaker website. Uh, all of the information will be there. Uh, there's also lots of YouTube videos. Whichever country you're in, you can call our local distributors and they'll have more information too on the J1. There we go. Josh, we can't end it without a high five. You up for yeah, it? Definitely, yeah. Thanks a lot, mate.